I think I want to pick up on a point you mentioned earlier about picking up a detox kit is that if you are worried about your toxicity level, detox kits are not the answer <laughs> to reducing that level. Like Chris said, the first thing to do is to minimize your exposure. Now, we, we can't minimize exposure 100% of the time. So at the same time, we need to support the detox uh, organs so that they can you know, move those toxins out of our bodies efficiently. And, you know, the, the way you do that is not through detox kits, because we have these organs inside of us that already can do that job. It's just that, you know, most of us are micronutrient deficient. We are in that stressed out sympathetic dominant state, which means that detox organs are shut down, right? Like detox organs are not going to function when you're trying to run away from a tiger, which is yeah. what this um, stress response is telling your body. And so... You know, I think if you if you work on your nutrition and opening up and supporting your body with nutrients and you know putting your body in a healing state. Of course, exercise should be mentioned and sweat. Okay. Yeah, uh, so there's I was, some different aspects to that. Yeah, yeah, and again, simple things, right? Tons of fruits and vegetables. You know, getting away from stressful media and information and living a life of joy and peace. And yeah. taking care of yourself and exercising, getting sunshine and sweating, <laughs> yeah. spending time in nature. Again, these are all things that pretty much anyone can do. And detoxification is something that, you know, a, a cleanse, a seven day cleanse or a three day cleanse, it, is, it ain't going to do it for you. If you really are serious about detoxification, you have to change your life and your lifestyle. Yeah. So detox is actually an active process requiring energy and a lot of different nutrients. So if you do a cleanse or you do, do a juice fast, you're, what you're doing is just avoiding the traditional like inflammatory foods for a week. And of course, you're going to feel better. You're going to drop pounds, but you're not detoxing, right? Detoxing means supporting your liver, sweating, ex like what you said, exercise, sleeping, sleeping. Mm. When you're sleeping, you're detoxing, your brain is detoxing. And I've actually seen so many people have detox reactions and, you know, at best it's just like, you know, oh, I feel a little bit dizzy or I have a little bit of rash, you know, but it can actually, you know, if you mobilize a, a body store of a lot of tox, let's say mercury, um, and a lot of people jump in and say, oh yeah, I read that um, cilantro or chlorella can bind mercury. So let me take a ton of that to try and get rid of mercury. But what they're doing is just pulling out mercury from stored body tissue. And then now it's in your bloodstream, right? And what does it have to do? It has to come out of your body somehow. And it can come out through your sweat, through your poop or your urine. If those three pathways are blocked, mercury can't come out you end up with a high blood level. And now it's like, you know, trying to force its way out. It might go into the kidney and jam up the kidney. It can be associated with kidney failure. So it's not always safe just to jump into these binders and supplements that, you know, people try to sell you to bind onto heavy metals when you haven't even done the basic work of just opening up your detox pathways to let the toxins go get out of your body. That's such a good message. I think, thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing that. It's really important. Uh, one of the things that I found in researching years ago that I thought was so fascinating was that there's a lot of heavy metals, a number of them that are preferentially detoxed in sweat more than anything I, else. Yeah. And for example, aluminum, cadmium, uranium, lead, uh, mercury a little bit more in sweat than urine, but uh, but some yeah. of these are you know 10, 20, 30 times more uh, excretion in sweat, yeah. right? And so if you're not exercising, if you're not sweating, then you you really are not detoxifying, right? There's some of it's coming out in your pee, but most yeah. of it is that should be coming out in your sweat is not. <laughs> so that's, just that's another right. another reason to like make exercise a priority in your life. Yeah, it really absolutely. is good. It's more than just looking good on the beach or looking, you know, uh, uh, looking better in your in your jeans or whatever. Right, you're actually <laughs> detoxifying yeah. your body when you exercise and sweat. Absolutely, when you exercise, you actually boost 
glutathione levels as well. And glutathione is the master antioxidant. It's kind of like the, the magnet that goes around and, you know, attaches to the toxins and brings it out of the body. So it's a really good way to detoxify, I agree. And the other thing I feel like a lot of people don't do before they jump into like a detox kit is pooping, right? They're not pooping <laughs> regularly. Yeah, if you're constipated, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. So whatever you're taking is binding onto toxins and now it's like in your body and it can't come out. And, you know, studies have shown that, you know, up to 90% of toxins like mercury can be reabsorbed in your gut. If you're, so if you're not pooping, these toxins that you think you're detoxifying from are just being reabsorbed and they're just what's doing is that you're just stirring it up and it's just not coming out. And actually when you're stirring things up, it can cause more harm than good. So you absolutely have to be pooping, sweating, exercising, sleeping, um, and peeing <laughs> before you even think about taking binders and, you know, the stuff that actually, you know, brings the body store of toxins out. And eating lots of fruits and vegetables too, it adds to that because You've got all these wonderful antioxidants that can mm. neutralize free radicals that that are yeah. being released and toxins that are being released bind to them or neutralize them in the process so it all works together you know it's just there's it a beautiful synergy together. there in just basic healthy living <laughs> thanks for watching if you like what you just saw why not subscribe here's a link to do that and if you'd like to watch the full interview, you can find it at chrisbeatcancer.com. There's a link to it in the description right below this video.